What's up everybody and welcome back to the John Hickey channel. I've been getting asked quite a bit of questions on the Glock 19 that I use and what kind of holster that I use. So in this video, I'm gonna show you both of those things. Let's get into it. But before we get into the video, I wanna show you something. Hold on, hold on. You guys know how much I love staccato and especially the staccato CS because of its form factor, how small and compact it is, and the fact that you can actually carry this with ease as an everyday carry. So here's the thing, I'm giving you guys a chance to win this Staccato CS. No, this is not a joke, I'm not playing you, this is definitely 100% real. So the way to enter and potentially win the Staccato CS is to click the link down below in the description. Go to go.getentertowin.com slash johnnyq. From there, you're directed to a website. You must buy a collectible. Then once you buy a collectible, you get a chance to enter to win the Staccato CS. It's that simple, it's that easy. Just click the link down below. You can also follow these instructions down here, but you do have to go to the website, go.getentertowin.com slash johnnyq and buy a collectible to get entered to win. I mean, where else can you get a chance to win this $3,000 staccato? You'll get extra magazines, you'll get the case that it comes with, a pure and true staccato CS. And that's pretty much it. Make sure to click the link down below. Okay, let's get back to the video. Okay, had to grab my box. Oh, I forgot my gun, it's behind me. Should probably get the Glock 19. Okay, here it is. Got the Glock 19 Gen 5 with the RMR optic on there. And actually I had, to, <laughs> so I bought the California compliant version first, which came with three 10 round magazines. And I'm like, I don't live in California. I don't need 10 rounds. I need the 15 rounds it comes with. So I bought extra magazines and it does fit 15 plus one. So I now carry 16 rounds instead of 11 rounds. I did put out an unboxing video of this. If you wanna go check it out, it's right here. But the thing is that I wanna carry this as an everyday carry uh, as I go about my day. And so Tolster was kind enough to send out some cool holsters that fits the Glock 19 Gen 5. So we're gonna open up this box, fit the Glock 19 in one of the holsters and just see how it feels, how it runs and go from there. So let's open up this box just so you guys know just so we're all fair and squared away. Uh, Tolster did send this out to me for free. Uh, I've done quite a bit of work for them and with them. They're an awesome company. I actually, here, let me show you this. I carry this every day. This is one of my everyday carry uh, setups. This is the Glock 43X with this Tolster holster, carbon fiber red. I mean, look at that, that's just beautiful. So Tolster holster. Now this clip, people always ask me, will that clip hold onto belts, uh, waistbands and all that? I can tell you right now for 100% certain that it does. I've ran this for about two or three years and it has not slipped, it's not budged. It's a great clip, great holster for the Glock 43X and the retention is really nice, as you see there. So highly recommend. If you wanna go check them out, go down to the link in the description below. There is a link that you should use, that's my link. And if you buy product from them on the website, I do get a kickback because that's just how it works. So I appreciate that. And Tulsa will appreciate you for getting the holsters. All right, we have plastic wrap. We don't need that. We have one, two, we have three holsters. All right, let's open up the first one. Yeah, I actually want to, let's see, is this it? Which one do I want to carry? Cool, we got a little pamphlet packet there. I want to actually unbox this one because this one is most likely the one I will carry every day uh, for the clock, so. Open this. Oh, oh, oh yes. This holster right here is called the Oath by Tolster. And it's very, as you can see here, very sleek, compact. It'll sit in the waist very well and won't, you know, tug on the side of your body as much. And it does have this like very hard, so you can see here, very hard clip that can clip onto your belt, which is nice to have because you don't want it to slip around. You don't want it to fall off your belt. Like that's important. So here is Glock 19 and Tolster holster. Just like that, it fits smoothly, fits like a glove, and that's what it looks like. Now let me grab the other two 
real quickly. This one right here is called the Arc, and this one that I showed earlier in the red is called the Profile inside the waistband holster. So here's the Arc, and just like that, uh, the difference between the Arc and something like the Oath is this right here. You can kind of see that. The Arc kind of brings the holster all the way up to the slide, versus the Oath kind of leaves it a little bit open on top of the slide there. So it isn't too bad. I mean, it is exposed just a bit. Can conceal this a little bit better, kind of lower into your waistline. So I'm actually going to grab the arc and I'm gonna to try to fit it uh, on my waistband. So I have it on my waistband. I'm carrying 12 o'clock, just like this. I mean, can you tell I'm even, I'm even carrying a gun on me? I don't know, probably not. So probably wanna get a belt, but for the most part, the retention on this is pretty nice where you can still grab your gun out of the holster if needed, if there was no belt, but I do highly recommend a belt. Let's put it back in there and then you're good to go. Yeah, I will most likely be running the Arc with the Glock 19 just because it does feel a tad bit more secure and I like that the actual holster comes up all the way to the slide, which in my opinion, it protects the gun even more so and kind of gives it something to hold on to. Maybe like this might cut into my it's my body, but I don't foresee it happening. And the clips here are very tight and very secure. So I have no problem with those. I could also see myself carrying the profile, but since I do have an optic on the 19, I can't really carry the 19 without an optic just because that's how I train. And I like having an optic on the 19, but this is the 43X without the optic. And it would, I mean, you know, be pretty similar in, in that, but if you don't run an optic on your Glock 19, like this is how it would look. And it's actually a really good option as well. Like I said, the clip themselves, I've been running for about two or three years and it's not budged, it doesn't slip. It clips on really well and it holds its tightness on a belt, on a waistband, things like that. So you can run it either way with an optic or no optic. I think, I think we'll go, I'm gonna go with this guy. Simple to use. Easy everyday carry setup. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm pretty happy on how that looks, how that feels. Maybe in about a month or two, I make another review video on how this has gone as an everyday carry with the holster, how it feels, how it functions on my belt, on my waistband, and kind of give you like a real world review on it. But this is more of a unboxing slash kind of first look into a Tolster holster. So like I said, guys, I have worked with Tolster quite a bit. They're awesome, awesome company. And if you do want to get some of these holster, please check out the link below. It helps them and it helps me with a little kickback just so you guys are aware. So if you do have a Glock 19, would you pick any of these three up? Please comment down below. Would love to know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for your support and thanks to the team over at Tolster for sending these holsters out for review and use. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. Yeah, I like that. Good retention.